So here I have a 2012 MacBook Air. I've actually wanted a MacBook Air for quite a while. I came across this one for a pretty good deal. This is running macOS 10.8 Mountain Lion right off the USB. It actually has OpenCore Legacy Patcher with macOS Sequoia installed and it runs okay. But let's say you wanted to go back a bit and revisit the old macOS experience, which is really neat. Well, the problem is there's no modern web browser. It's, it's pretty unusable if you don't have a modern web browser. Well, that actually changed, and I'm very excited to show you this project uh, that actually gets pretty frequent updates. So let's take a closer look. So here we are on the MacBook Air, and here are the specifications. It has a Intel Core i5 1.7 gigahertz processor, so it's clocked kind of low, and 4 gigabytes of RAM. I think there's models of this that has 8 gigabytes, but for this, 4 gigabytes is actually enough. Uh, so this is just normal macOS 10.8 Mountain Lion, and it's running from a USB drive, but if you go into the applications, you can see we have modern Firefox, which looks completely out of place on this operating system. Uh, I'm sure you can change the icon somehow, but if we go ahead and open it up, you can see it's literally just modern Firefox running on macOS 10.8. Now apparently this is compatible with macOS 10.7 Lion, but it would just show up in the dock and the menu bar would change, but it would actually not load at all. It would just uh, beach ball and I'd have to force quit it. So anyways, if we go to About Firefox, you can see this is uh, Firefox 142, so it's very up to date. That's one thing I love is how, how much this project gets updated. So let's go ahead and just search it up and it's called Firefox Dynasty and here it is on github and it's by the user uh, i3 Roly. I think that's how you pronounce it and I give them tons of credit for this project because I absolutely love this so here it tells you a bit about it and if you look here, Firefox 140 released two days ago. And that's actually what I'm running right now. I know it says uh, 142, but yeah, it says there's, they fixed uh, title bar corners for sub 10.8 systems. Okay, so this is where you can download it but we can just go to websites like Wikipedia, you know, like you put on any modern computer. And this is just so cool. I mean, Wikipedia isn't a very hard website to load. Uh, YouTube is. And it still will take a bit, mainly because I'm running off of a USB drive. I'm actually considering installing this to the internal SSD. We can just head over to my channel. And here is the fast computer video playing. Now, I don't think you'll hear any audio from the computer because of the way I'm recording this. This is through QuickTime. Uh, but we can go into a video. I found this at a rummage sale for $3. You might actually hear the echo through the $3 microphone. $3 for the both of them. So, so there you go. Get these for $3. Well, there was a guy at a rummage sale that would repair and recycle. Might struggle with 60 repair FPS. And recycle computers. And these were just going to get recycled because they were too old for him to really care about. Yeah, it plays okay. And here it is running a WebGL test. And uh, so that just shows that it supports WebGL. Um, the aquarium test does not seem to work for some reason, but every other test I try works. So you can have this weird looking thing. So this pretty much means that most uh, browser based games should work, you know, like cool math games, Happy Wheels, all, the, all that stuff should work. Of course, uh, it depends on how powerful your computer is. If you're running this on an Intel Core 2 Duo Mac, you're definitely going to have worse performance, but I ran this on my 2007 iMac and it's pretty usable actually. And that's actually running Mavericks. So that's pretty much all there really is to show about this because, uh, well, it's just a modern Firefox port for old Mac OS. 
Uh, one more thing I want to note is uh, ex the extensions that I have tried seem to have worked. Here I have uBlock Origin, which is very helpful for older machines like this. So uh, when you go on ad heavy websites, you know, it blocks out a lot of the ads. So it makes it easier to load. Uh, so let's go ahead and just install a theme. Uh, let's, let's get a nice uh, blue aqua theme. This one here looks kind of neat. And here we go. Here's the theme. There was a button up here I couldn't quite see. I don't know if it I don't know if it has to do with the screen resolution or something, but I was able to click it and now it's installed. So yeah, that about wraps it up. And one more thing I want to mention is I think it is possible that we could see this running on macOS 10.6 Snow Leopard in the future, which that would be amazing, especially on 32-bit Max, uh, just because there's some core duo Max that can't run anything newer. So that'd be neat to see. Uh, when Firefox stops making x86 builds, it only has ARM for Mac OS. Will this uh, no longer be able to be updated, or is there a way that they can compile it to work with x86? Well, I think only time will tell. I definitely recommend you give this a try. Uh, I, I'm running it on quite a few different computers. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.